Hi, New Hope. Happy Monday. Um, this is Pastor Vicki, and I just wanted to let you know that, that your church is praying for you and your families in the midst of the uh, coronavirus pandemic and, and all the, the news that is being thrown at us. I know that it creates all kinds of anxiety and worry, and uh, it changes our lives. It also changes how your church does business, and so we wanted to let you know that starting this Sunday, March 22nd, that we are going to all online services. So we will, we will have um, services via our website, which is findnewhope.com, or you can access them on our Facebook page um, through Facebook Live. We'll, we will air the services at eight o'clock, at 9.30 and 11, and the Spanish-speaking worship will be aired as well. We're really encouraging that families come together on Sunday morning as they normally would and that you worship together in your home. If you have a small group, um, we would encourage you to come together with your small group and worship on Sunday morning as you normally would. Um, maybe you can pray for each other, pray for our church, pray for our community, pray for our world. If you want to get together with your small group or Sunday school class and, and there, nobody has a house that could accommodate that many people, please feel free to let us know and we will open up either the sanctuary classrooms or the classrooms in New Hope Life Center. But you need to let us know by this Wednesday. Um, you can contact Mandy New about that. Um, you can either call the office at 689-4161 or you can email Mandy at mandy at findnewhope.com. Please, please be in prayer about this. But one thing we don't want you to be is worried and fearful because we are going to remember that Jesus Christ is still on the throne and that he did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And we know in the midst of this that we are going to see God at work. I am convinced of it. In the midst of this chaos and in the midst of of all these um, shutdowns, God is still active. God is still at work in our lives and in this community. And so if you have blessings that you are seeing in the midst of this coronavirus <laughs> pandemic and scare, um, we wanna hear about it. We wanna see you post about it on your Facebook page, on Instagram. Send me an email if you'd like. Um, and we're using the hashtag collateral blessings. Hashtag collateral blessings. One of my collateral blessings is that because the University of Central Florida is closed, my oldest son Daniel gets to spend at least two more weeks with us. So that means lots of togetherness, lots of board games, lots of hanging out and listening to music and working out together. And um, I'm excited about that. So that is my collateral blessing. That being said, I know many of you are really in a state of restlessness um, and worry, and you're concerned for your friends and family who are vulnerable. Um, and I think that we need to every day make sure that we are um, submitting all of this to Jesus and remembering who and whose we are. Um, so in just a moment, Zach is going to play a song that I think that maybe this should be our theme song throughout this coronavirus pandemic. And um, so wherever you are, whether you're at work, whether you're at home, stop for a moment, say a prayer, and spend some time worshiping God. Thanks. This is how I fight my battles 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 It may look so 
Check us everywhere we go.